Thanks for clicking on my video. Before we get started, please click the subscribe button so that you can get more great content such as this one. Thanks. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tony Coleman. Today, I'm going to do an unboxing of the HD 2K web camera S5 version um, made by Wallfront. Picked this up off of Amazon. It uh, looked like it had some decent specs, USB 2.0, it's a 2K camera. So you should get 2560 by 1440. They say it has the automatic white balance, AE compensation. I mean, you can read the specs right there off the box, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So I've already cut it open. You get the normal thank you inspection pass things. Instructions on how to set it up. The camera itself. cable and also the I believe that's the privacy slide all right so let's get everything unpackaged side of the laptop we're going to use. I am using a Latitude E6540 for this test. It did not have a webcam built into it, so we are going to utilize this opportunity to show it. All right. So first thing it says to do is to place the privacy lid on the camera. Real simple. It just snaps down on it. that and that way you can just cover it a lot of people think you need the privacy they're paranoid about the government watching them what have you unfortunately they're not doing anything to prevent the microphones from being listened in on so take that as you will all right All right, so the next part is I'm going to show you how it connects to the actual laptop. You just open this here, turn the swivel base. Let me get this angle here so you can see it. All right, you just put it at the top. You'll see there's a, a gap here, but the back pushes up against it to give it a secure connection. And then it just sits on top of the laptop like that. Now, obviously this isn't gonna work yet because we haven't hooked up the USB cable, but I wanted to do that next. Okay, so here you can see the back of the camera. Just plug the USB in. As you saw in the corner of the laptop, it's automatically setting up the device. And then you can test it using Windows 10 camera program. It's already been in, built into it. As you saw down here in the search bar, I just typed the word camera. It brings up the camera app. And there I am. It was that easy to set up. And uh, I plan on using this for my daughter's remote learning class. So I can tell you now the picture looks pretty clear. I have not done any low light testing or anything with it yet. You can also see the box is following my face for the facial recognition. Um, but I'm trying to do some mov movement here. I'm not seeing a whole lot of ghosting. There is a little bit, but I don't know if that's the app or the camera just yet. So I will try to do some additional tests and add 
my final assessment at the end of this video as well so that you get a good clear understanding on the value of this camera um, so till my next video uh, I will add uh, do, do that testing uh, shortly um, going to wait until closer to nighttime so I can get some lighting differences with the lighting here in the room plus it being dark outside because as you can see right now I've got light coming in through the curtains I do not have the light in this room turned on so this is natural lighting right now in this room but hopefully this camera pans out to be a really good investment um, I, I saw a lot of reviews uh, with various cameras on Amazon that were hit and miss and I really don't want to spend money on a webcam that's only going to use for schooling but end up being just a complete piece of junk because you never know when I'm going to want to use this in the future as well. So um, I'll go ahead and pause the video and then once I get some other testing going I will um, start it up again. So this is what it looks like when the room is completely dark. The uh, video picks up the whites pretty well but anything else it's still pretty dark so you would probably have to do some editing or uh, change some settings around and then I will go ahead and pause the video and try to turn on a light so you know what it's like when the light is on during the night. Alright so this is what it looks like with the light on at night. You can see it picks up pretty good here so I would not use the webcam with basic settings. Um, in the dark however I'm sure that you can uh, do some tweaking on your webcam software to get a better image but the uh, quality has been pretty good so um, I give it a thumbs up and then uh, I'll pause the video and give a wrap-up um, assessment all right well to wrap up the video uh, that's pretty much the assessment of the webcam. Uh, for those wondering if you can use it uh, not attached to the laptop, you can. The clip that holds onto the, the display of the laptop, it can actually be folded so that it sits on a table like a base. So I highly recommend it. Um, it, it looks really well, um, sounds all right. Had no issues with it. We've used it for, I don't know, probably about three days now, four days. My daughter uses it for her remote learning for school. And I gotta say, it, it was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. It was as simple as just plugging the USB in, it detected it, it worked. So the only issue we found with it was if you tried to plug in other peripherals, you will definitely want to go into the settings of your application that you're running whether it be like Microsoft Teams or what have you and make sure that you select the default um, video and sound or microphone and such uh, that you want to use otherwise uh, it'll act like it's not working or something so other than that it, it was pretty straightforward uh, so if you got any questions drop them in the comments section um, if, if you um, have other uh, reviews of it that you've done yourself that you'd like to include please let me know um, but share the video like it hit that uh, bell button so you get notifications of new ones make sure you subscribe to the channel and then uh, until next time have a good one